How's it going ladies and gentlemen, it is your captain speaking, Captain Crutch, once again bringing you an important news update. As you remember a couple days ago we covered Josh Duggar on the channel and I gave my honest thoughts and opinions on Josh Duggar. Well today, a jury of his peers convicted Josh Duggar on all counts of that sick material that he was a part of. Now personally, I think that he got off a lot easier than he should have. I mean, I feel like people with these kind of offenses should be dead or should be castrated at least. I mean, anybody with that sick mentality should not be walking in society. Sorry, that's just my personal opinion, but how can you find children attractive? I just, I can't find it, man. Josh Duggar, you can't blame anybody but yourself, man. You got yourself in a heaping hurting of a mess. They should bury you underneath the jail. You are not even worthy to be in the jail, man. And I'm not trying to just destroy you, but like, how are you going to play this now? Your family and everybody knows that you're a child predator. You are literally a child predator. It is great we got this guy off the streets and away from children. This has gone on for so long that, you know, it seems like he was numb to everything that was around him. But, man, you're about to realize you're about to experience a whole new way of life, my man. A whole new way of life. You will never have a life, anything of a semblance of normalcy. None. None whatsoever. You, I'm really kind of scared for you, Josh. In the prison system, everybody, you know, we got to think, this man was also raised in a very structured and um, controlled environment, which, I mean, that obviously will go good in prison, but you're about to have to adapt to a whole other way of life. You thought yours were your way of the highway, wait till you meet some of these people in prison. They're going to have a field day with you, my man, just wait. You know, I don't really get on here just to rant and rant and rave. It's just very funny to me that these people thought that they could like pull the wool over so many people in America and the worldwide. I mean, these people are worldwide. The Duggars are known like crazy. Like, I just can't believe that they thought, oh, well, we can claim this is a setup and they don't have any proof. Like, these people have been doing an investigation on Josh for re almost a year. So, I mean, of course they have the proper evidence to convict. They literally didn't even take the whole time to do a court proceeding this has literally been like an open and shut case like I said this is going to be a example case for many people I mean I've never seen so many people standing out towards the Duggars now you have Duggar super fans uh, as I learned from Katie without a crystal ball uh, shout out to Katie by the way I keep up with a lot of her videos and she was saying that there's a lot of people that know the Duggars that already assumed that Josh was, like, capable of these obscene acts. Like, people, it's not no secret that this man had some past experiences doing this stuff. And it just kind of blew me away that, like, so many people are talking out towards the Duggars. And I'm glad. We need to put more knowledge towards these kind of people because... Like, Jim Bob Duggar and that whole family that is still involved in that is, like, just ridiculous to think that their son was not, you know, capable of doing those things and spending so much money, man. How did that really help your your Senate seat position, John, uh, Jim Bob? Put your kids in politics and their names are going to be shamed because of what your son has committed. And we all know... That is no secret. We all know the truth now. These people have been very infamous about hiding the truth from people and trying to manipulate people so they can relay this perfect Christian message. But look what you've look what you've done. It's not all your fault, but look at your parenting style. That is exactly why Josh Duggar turned out to be the way he is. And you didn't get on the proper counseling, so you know. No wonder your son's going to be probably the most hated person in America right now within this, you know, first 24 hours because those acts that your son's committed are absolutely heinous. It's just heinous, man. And it's not y'all's fault, but it kind of is. But Josh Duggar also should have known that he was going to get caught eventually and apparently they've been <laughs> doing their due diligence. So it was their own fault for not even taking the time to look at the evidence. These fools didn't even look at key p 
pieces the you know the evidence and wondered why he got convicted because they had a whole file they had everything on Josh Duggar that he ever had on his computer and they wouldn't even look at it so you know man I don't feel sorry for you you are the lowest of the low and you deserve to be in jail as long as you think and I think 30 years is too short you were going to be in there a lot lot longer you're only 33 now you were going to be an old old man they're gonna call you father time you know these acts that Josh committed are very heinous but I do feel bad for the family because the family had to figure out you know what their son and what their brothers and all that you know he's got siblings that have to live with this like Josh Duggar you know has been outed as a predator as you know a predator is not a good title to have in today's society it's never been but uh, you know you have a family with that much celebrity and now you know their whole family name is tarnished I don't think the Duggar name will ever be the same and if you support the Duggar after all this you know you need to get yourself reevaluated I said it in the other video I just feel sorry for his siblings but that's all I got to say about this video hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one like if you enjoyed once again this has been Captain Crutch I'll see you in another one